Hello everyone, Ruse Asia here again with another 1v1 commentary for you today. Looks like it's going to be Nuclear Wessels playing as Italy, going against Boncom playing as the United States. I'd like to thank Nuclear for sending me these replays. He sent me about three of them. I should be able to do all the replays for you guys. I'm going to do them straight shot, a 1, 2, 3 in a row. I'm going to upload them all to YouTube for your enjoyment. Uh, looks like today's going to be a 1v1 on uh, Tank Graveyard. Uh, looks like it should be a good game. Hopefully there's some good games that he sent me. This one should be a good one. Let's get it started. Looks like it's going to start off. I'm just going to go to nuclear. Looks like he's actually going to elect not to camouflage net. Boncom's going to elect to blitz. Is he going to camouflage net as well? He's actually going to camouflage net now. And he's going to lay down. Let's see what he lays down here. Looks like supply depot is going to go for a one. He's going to go for a four supply depot. Going to get that economic advantage right off the bat. And it looks like I can't see what that other truck is going to do. Whoa, wrong click. It looks like it's going to be a barracks. Uh, let's see what nuclear likes to do. It looks like he's going to be putting a fake decoy artillery base And it looks like he's going to be putting just a straight barracks and he's actually going to be going for three base So early game Boncom will have economical advantage But it will actually elect nuclear to actually possibly make some more units pump units out at the bat And it looks like he's actually going to be radio silencing But the only thing is is that uh, Boncom the only thing I believe, I don't know if this is the replay, I was actually looking at this earlier, I don't know if it's the replay, I guess it's because it's blinking, it's just my screen, but a little bit weird, I guess the replay is just showing me what it looks like, just because I was looking at the replay earlier just to quickly, um, when I filmed this the first time, but I had a little technical difficulty, and it was weird because some of the units weren't showing up on my screen, but then others were, so just wanted to double check and see if it was just the game replay, it looks like it was. Looks like he's going to be pump, uh, pushing out here with some Karo M11s, and he's going to be just pumping out with some light infantry. And it looks like uh, Bonacom is going to put with some light push with his, some light infantry and just secure his own town and uh, possibly his woods and just uh, start macroing up because it you do not want to play. If you're going to play the, uh, as United States, they're one of the best countries in the game, if not the best in my opinion. And uh, you need, if you're going to play USA, if you turtle... Uh, you can destroy your opponent if he lets you turtle all game because your army will be much better composed compared to any other country. The only thing is, is that if you're going against German player, if it's ground versus ground, the German player should win. Uh, but any other country can pretty much dominate on the ground. So if you're playing a USA player, do not let them turtle. It's very imperative you don't let uh, USA turtle because they are very, very strong overall. Looks like he's actually going to be... Uh, so onto the game, looks like he's actually going to be radio silencing down the middle gonna expose these units but he's only pushing with three tanks look he's maybe he's gonna go left and right and gonna push across it looks like also Boncom is gonna have a uh, armor base pushing uh, armor base up so he's gonna start making some tanks seeing that there's tanks on the field now as he just realizes is now I don't know if nuclear has any recon it looks like that's his only recon unit and he has nothing right now so it looks like if he pushes right now into these woods he's gonna lose all of these caros right off the bat it hasn't made anything on his uh, decoy base yet so it looks like he's going to sit sit that there and maybe wait for another day for the ruse card. But he needs to use it because it's only about five minutes on, or six minutes at the most on those uh, ruse cards. Looks like he's gonna actually going to grab another supply depot right now and try and get the even keel with uh, with Boncom as he pumps out Lee's. Looks like he's going to try and snipe this depot, but if I were him, I wouldn't get too close because there's most likely something in those woods. Looks like he's actually going to elect to go right past the depot, or will he? Let's see what he's going to do. He actually ends up sniping uh, that R Willie's Jeep. And as he will now turn and fire, and he will take out that supply depot, and it will go down. Looks like he's actually going to also secure uh, this middle uh, town here, and he's actually going to possibly secure this town. It looks like he's going to actually push. He's going for a quick, quick rush against uh, Boncom, trying to end this game right off the bat. But he will see that there's Lee's on the field, and he will actually retreat. He actually might even lose all three of these tanks right now because he doesn't know that there's infantry in these woods. Could he lose three tanks right off the bat? Let's see what's going to happen. He's going to lose one for sure. Can he back up these tanks right now and lose these other two? Or not lose these other two? It looks like he finally got away. Thankfully, because of that speed of the Italians, uh, he's going to be able to not uh, lose more than just one. So a very good trade. He only loses one medium tank, and he actually gains a depot in score. Looks like actually nuclear is actually going to end up pushing out. What is he making here? It looks like he's going to make another supply depot very, very far. But it looks like he's going for that forward uh, supply. The only thing is I don't really agree with this because he has to travel so far just to get those, uh, just to get that mining in. It'd be better if he made possibly a, a, a secondary HQ possibly right here and then uh, made those depots from the secondary HQ just to help himself out. 
but he elects not to. And he's actually going to get pushed on by Lees. If he can maybe get these Lees to come into town, uh, this late infantry would be able to possibly snipe one or two of these Lees and uh, get that early tank pressure uh, away from uh, Boncom. It looks like yes, he's, he's going to put it in the town. He's going to hide them. So Boncom possibly walks in. He's actually going to try and sneak some Karos in the back door and try and maybe take this depot out. But Boncom, seeing this, he's going to push a tank and this easily. And he's actually going to blitz because he realizes he needs that blitz to help him out. Uh, to stop that tank attack and it looks like it maybe even nuclear is going to push again on the other side but it's going to be a lead but three versus one this lead should die so there might be an attack back door going on it looks like the car it will get destroyed no problem this 1v1 won't work out and he's actually going to get pressured as well uh, from behind by these other leads so he's in a very very uh disadvantage and actually just spotted an airfield i didn't even realize this I just pulled back to see what was going on on his base. There's an airfield being built. Let's see what he's actually going to make. See what he wait, uh, makes. <laughs> Watch uh, this action going on here. As you see, he's going to lose the, the Karo. He just lost his radio silence ruse in the middle. See if these Karos will be able to take this down. He needs to push right now. He may even lose these two Karos in the middle. Because he's about to get sandwiched between uh, infantry and the woods. And uh, Boncom uh, on and his leaves on the right. It looks like he's gonna tear on this left side. And he's gonna possibly kill these. I would have went for a fanaticism over a tear if I were him, just for the fact that he did. Yes, he did lose the both those cars. He needs to actually uh, fanaticism would have been better because a three v one. You, uh, I'd I'd rather just kill the unit and uh, maybe lose one of my own. Uh, his ruse, as you can see, his decoy base just ended. So he used a ruse card for no reason, maybe just trying to fool uh, Boncom to making something else, but it didn't work. Now let's see if he's actually going to be able to kill this Lee. He should be able to take this Lee down. And what is he making? He hasn't built anything so far. It looks like he's just built uh, a recon unit so far. Let's see if he's going to make bombers or um, or he's going to make uh, fighter bombers. If I were him right now, I would actually start making bombers. If he makes bombers right now, he'll be, he actually kills the tank right now. If I were him right now, I'd start making bombers on the field. And what's actually this? It looks like there's actually Pershings on the field now. He needs to get these Karos out of here. They will get snipe one shot by these Pershings, no doubt. There goes the one tank, and he's going to lose both e easily. Actually pushing with recon, but it won't matter. He's going to get all these sniped. Let's see what he possibly makes in this air. It looks like he's going to make fire bombers, and not a good choice. He actually has a camouflage net here, and they can't be seen. I don't know how these units can actually be seen. Can Boncom see this? Uh, no, he can. A little bit surprising. I don't know why... He can't actually see this. A little bit strange that he can't see the planes. He actually can see them as they fly out. As you can see there. So actually, if I were him, I would have actually went for air, uh, for, uh, sorry, bombers instead of uh, fighter bombers. Because as you can see right now, it looks like it's going to be most likely an anti-air base coming. Yes, it is. And see, right now, he can just pump out M16s. And he can actually just completely destroy all of these uh, fighter bombers. So not the best selection. If I were nuclear, I actually would have pushed out with bombers instead. And I would have killed one, two depots with about four bombers. Maybe even two. I don't know if the Italians can do it in two. But most likely four. Killed both depots and left uh, Boncom on one base. And one base is huge. If you make an American player go one base, you will completely steamroll them. They have no income. If you're playing anyone really and they're on one base, you will steamroll them because they have no income. Looks like he's going to bombing around these tanks. The tanks are doing some damage, so these two Lees should be able to pay for themselves. Just for the fact that, because he's taking down all of these units right now, taking these trucks down, there should be more than 40 points in these trucks. After a couple of runs, it looks like there's going to be more coming, so he's going to probably get his money back in those Lees. Here comes another fighter bomber. Didn't decide to actually attack anything. He needs to start attacking these Pershings. If he kills these Pershings, he'll be in a much better spot uh, 